across Texas. The issue is... I'm Rudy Kosky in Austin. I'm Greg Grugan in Houston. And I'm Stephen Dial in Dallas. And this is Texas, The Issue Is. Our assignment is the school voucher debate, which is getting underway under the Capitol Dome here in Austin. The idea has different names like school choice, parental rights, and recently relabeled as education savings accounts by Governor Greg Abbott during his State of the State address. The chairman of the Texas House Democrat Caucus, Trey Martinez Fisher, considers it, whatever you want to call it, a bad idea and certainly not the way to fix what he believes is a flawed education funding formula. Governor has these ideas that he wants to privatize schools and, and have these vouchers. That's only going to take money out of our schools. By my count, we are already short. We are in the negative when it comes to public education funding. So I'll give you a good example. Two years ago, we fully negotiated $47 billion to be spent in public schools. And this time around for this budget, that number is now $38 billion. We're just coming out of a pandemic. Uh, we're in the middle of crazy inflation. Eggs cost $6 a dozen, and we're taking $9 billion out of public education and saying that we're fully funding it. That doesn't pencil with me. That doesn't pencil with the people that I represent. And so before we start talking about any shenanigan or any scheme to take money out of our public schools, I want to make sure that we actually do right by our teachers and our kids and our families and make the investments to fully fund public education. Why shouldn't a parent be able to use their tax dollars and put it into the school that they want their kids to be in? Well, I, I don't hear that conversation of saying, well, I don't have a car. Give me my money back for whatever you spend on roads. Or, hey, you know, incidentally, I, I don't go to parks. I don't like parks, so just give me my park money back. We don't do a la carte budgeting in the state of Texas. We're all in for one Texas, one community, one state. We're big, 254 counties, 31 million people. We cannot write a budget that's going to take the, the wants and the needs and, and, and the select items that people think is worth investing in. We're investing in our entire state. Several years ago, the state was sued over its education funding formula, and it still struggles into getting money to schools. So talking vouchers now, not the right time? You and I have been here a long time. We were here when $5.4 billion left the school system, and some say that that money has never fully come back. Since the pandemic, we have not put real resources in education since the pandemic. And so, look, let's face it, I'm not going to have a debate about taking more money out of schools when we have an introduced budget that's already taken $9 billion out. When you say fully funded, what does that mean? Sure. Uh, I, I, I think this. I think we, we, we look across the country and we see what the average cost is to educate people uh, across this country. I think Texas is towards the bottom, right? So I think we look at, need to look at our basic allotment and, and, and adjust those dollars for inflation. But we're still using the same metrics uh, to invest in our schools. We wouldn't do that in our business. We certainly wouldn't do that in investing in our home, uh, our most prized you know, asset. We're willing to work, be pragmatic, roll up our sleeves, and be realistic. But this session, like none other, we have a seat at the table and we have a few additional chairs. In the Democratic response to the state of the state, it seemed like you opened the door to some negotiations regarding vouchers. Is there room for some give and take? I will say this. I will say that there is nothing to talk about until we fund our schools, until we have a commitment from our public schools. I've said this also. We have $59 billion sitting up here in our checking and savings account. And for the life of me, if these wonderful ideas are so great, why is the governor choosing to take that money out of an existing commitment when we have new revenue sitting on the sidelines? So to me, it tells me it's more about vouchers and savings accounts. Uh, it, it's more about potentially hurting schools. And I think that when it comes to that, we have to have our elbows up all the time, and we need to know those details. And our job is pretty fundamental. And you, know, you walk around this building, school children, they don't have lobbyists up here. They don't have special interests you know, knocking on our doors. We're their voice and we're here to do our jobs. All right, guys, last week my word was entitled because so many in this fight believe that they're entitled to the money. This time I'll borrow my word from the chairman and say shenanigan. Greg, what's your word? Rudy, my word is insatiable. Stephen, what's your word? It's hyphenated preference wars. All right, the Texas Trio is taking a short recess, but we will be back after this break to talk about what the chairman had to say.